Hey guys, welcome. Bob here from bobsplumbingvideos.com. I just wanted to go over uh, the method of putting Teflon tape on your, your water pipes, uh, which is pretty simple. But before I make a demonstration for you, I just wanted to go over the different types. Uh, there are a few different types. You know, mainly I use the white tape, and they come in varying thicknesses, anywhere from like a, a, a 0.6 mil. Uh, to 3.5 up to 10 mil, depending upon what you're using it on. You know, the thicker, obviously, the less turns you have to go around the pipe. But for the most part, um, what you're looking at here is what I use mainly. Now, they, this comes in half inch widths, all the way up to one inch widths. I generally carry half inch and three quarter. But I find myself mainly using half inch tape because I'm, I'm working with half inch and three quarter inch pipe. Uh, they also make a, a pink version, which is a, a triple density tape, and that's for larger pipes, larger pipes uh, in, in, in big distribution systems, uh, you know, anything from two inch and above, uh, and that's pretty, pretty heavy, like a 10 mil weight. They also make a yellow tape, which is used for uh, gas, natural gas lines which, by the way, we're not permitted to use here in New York City. And they also make a green tape. And the green is used uh, for oxygen lines, oxygen lines and uh, gasoline lines, gasoline fuel lines. Uh, but mainly uh, here in the city, what I use my Teflon for is water distribution systems. And pretty, pretty simply, you're going to take your Teflon Grab the end of it, and you're going to place that over the top, and grab that with your finger, and make one revolution. And once you make one revolution and 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 grab over the end there, you can pretty much you can pretty much continue. How many turns? Well, guys, that's going to depend on you know the the condition of the the pipe you're using, uh, the condition of the fitting. But generally, minimum of four, I've gone up to six or seven turns around. Uh, a couple of things to bear in mind. You want to wrap your tape clockwise. That's away from you. Away from you so that when you screw this clockwise into the fitting, the tape is going to stay there. I see quite a few guys taking the Teflon and they wrap it towards them, which is counterclockwise. And what that's going to do is when they screw it into the fitting, they're going to unravel the Teflon. The Teflon's actually going to come out. It's not going to stay inside the joint. So you need to keep that in mind. Always wrap away from you. You want to go in this, in this fashion, in this direction. You don't, want to, you don't want to do what I'm about to show you here, which is go towards yourself. Because when you screw this in clockwise to the fitting, this is all going to come out. So you're going to, you're going to be doing it and wasting your time. The other thing I wanted to point out is this. Um, I prefer keeping the Teflon toward the end of the pipe. I don't like to go all the way back. Only because once this piece is made up, then I lose most of the Teflon and you don't see it. And you have a nice clean joint. What I see a lot of guys doing, and I'm not saying whether this is right or wrong, but I just don't think it looks nice. They'll start, and they'll wrap, and they'll go all the way to the back end of the threads there. But they know that when you screw a pipe in, there's no way you're going to screw the pipe all the way in. So you're going to end up with this kind of white racing stripe, if you will, on the pipe. And that just looks terrible. So my recommendation is to keep it toward the front. Obviously, this is half-inch pipe. I'm using half-inch Teflon. Um, we have a piece of three-quarter here, a piece of three-quarter inch pipe. Now, a lot of guys would use three-quarter Teflon and cover the whole thread. I like to, again, use my half-inch Teflon, and I'll keep it toward the front. There's one, two, three, four five turns and, and when this gets made up for the most part I'm going to lose most of that white Teflon and that's pretty much it guys there's no mystery to this 
pretty easy to work with. You could even use it on smaller pieces of pipe. This is a half inch close nipple. And obviously, you know, I can't keep this to the front because there isn't much to it. But when these little nipples get made up, you generally end up losing most of the most of the uh, nipple into the fitting. Again, one, two, three, four. Now that's a brand new nipple, so I'm I'm going around four times, and that's it. That's it, guys. Not too mysterious, not too hard to do. Questions, or you didn't understand something in the video, please contact me, info at bobsplumbingvideos.com. I'm glad you stopped by today, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care, guys.